In 2016, when Bike Yoke released their first dropper post, the Revive, they shot straight to the top of the heap thanks to a particularly innovative feature that lets riders bleed the internals using an external valve, a simple process that takes no more than 10 seconds to complete with nothing more than just an Allen key. Additionally, the action of the Revive is incredibly smooth and the many different sizes and lengths available as well as the short overall stack height mean that there's a Revive to fit any bike and any rider. In fact, the Revive is so good that it's been occupying the top spot in our big dropper post face-off ever since we first published it in 2017. With the success of the Revive, why would Bike Yoke feel the need to try something new? Well, first and foremost, they are a small engineering-driven company, so they probably like a challenge. But they also felt that they could do better, they could come up with something slightly cheaper, slightly less complicated by moving to a new internal mechanism that does away with the need for the external bleed valve. Enter the Divine. Nobody likes a saggy dropper, especially not if it's going to be complicated to fix. Time spent messing about with stuff that doesn't work is less time spent on the bike out riding, which explains the high levels of rage often expressed online when discussing various dropper posts on the market. Bike yoke posts feature an open bath design, which in the case of the Revive can be bled externally using the aforementioned reset valve. This design means that there is no need for an internal floating piston, and it also means you can run lower internal oil pressure. This removes a number of seals from the equation, and it also does away with the number one cause of dropper post failure, air getting into the oil side of the piston. As a side effect, this design is also incredibly smooth in action, something we've always loved about the original Revive. The new Divine goes about things in a slightly different way. It is still an open bath design, but instead of an external reset function, it has an internal auto reset that activates every time you drop your seat. For this to work, the Divine requires slightly bigger seals and higher internal pressure compared to the Revive. The Divine also offers something that the Revive does not, adjustable travel. You can reduce the travel of each Divine dropper by up to 20mm in 5mm increments by installing one or more spacers onto the main piston shaft. The process is fairly simple and does not require any proprietary tools. This means that if, for example, a 160mm drop is too much for you and your frame to handle, you can reduce it down to 150 or 140mm instead of buying the shorter 125mm version. This way you get the benefit of the maximum amount of drop your setup will allow. The short overall stack height of the post ensures that it has a higher chance of fitting completely into the seat tube as well. For example, the Divine 185 is significantly shorter than a 175 Fox Transfer, while at the same travel the 1UP dropper is about on par with the Divine. The 1UP shown here sits at 210mm of travel. Installing the Divine is straightforward. After routing the cable through your frame, you'll want to make sure you have exactly the right amount of cable showing at the post end. There's a helpful guide etched onto the base of the post to help with this part. After that, you simply need to attach the small cable clamp onto the cable, slip it into the activator, and then adjust any slack with the barrel adjuster on the remote. The remote can be installed with a separate collar of its own, or it can be attached directly to a Shimano or SRAM brake lever with the correct adapter. They are available to order together with the post. On the trail, the Divine is a pleasure to use. It may be a tiny bit less smooth than a Revive, but it still compares favorably with pretty much any other post out there. The position and the action of the bike yoke lever are perfect, and it's super easy to modulate the return speed of the post. The maximum return speed of the post is definitely quick enough to deal with any situation on the trail, and a fairly loud thunk lets you know that the post has reached the end of its travel, on either side. We've had the Divine out on the trails for just over three months now, and in that time it has done nothing but go up and down on command, as needed and when needed. No issues, no sag, come rain or shine this post simply keeps doing its job. We still have the first Revive we tested back in 2017, and it's still going strong without ever having needed to be serviced since. Given Bike Yoke's attention to detail and excellent reputation for producing reliable products, we fully expect to get similar performance out of the new Divine post. Should things take a turn for the worse, Bike Yoke makes all the spares needed for rebuilding the post available, and they have a growing network of service centers around the world ready to help you out if needed. So who is the new Divine for? Well, if you like a smooth dropper post that does its job without fuss, with an internal auto-reset feature that ensures it won't ever go saggy on you, you owe it to yourself to check this one out. The fact that it comes in many different sizes and lengths, and that it can be easily adapted to fit your frame and your size perfectly, should make the decision even easier. Yes, it's 40 euros cheaper than the Revive, which still does not make it a cheap post, but in our opinion, it's worth every penny and cent. Thanks for tuning in to this vital review. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you out there on the trails.